the news broke with an intensity that was almost palpable. It was like a thunderclap echoing across the globe, reverberating in every corner of the world. Voyager 1 answers the void, screamed one headline, capturing the imagination of millions. Humanity's loneliest probe finds a neighbor, declared another, sparking curiosity and wonder. For a world often used to division and conflict, these headlines were a jolt, a powerful reminder of the vast unexplored universe that lay beyond our differences. The story was almost too fantastic to believe yet it was undeniably real, grounded in scientific discovery. The little spacecraft we sent out nearly 50 years ago, a testament to human ingenuity, had found something extraordinary. Or perhaps, something had found it, reaching out across the cosmic void. These weren't just sensationalist claims, they were backed by the world's top scientific institutions, lending credibility to the astonishing news. NASA, ESA, and observatories worldwide scrambled to confirm the data, their teams working tirelessly to verify the findings. Voyager 1, now more than 16 billion miles from home, had detected something that defied all known natural phenomena, a signal, a pattern, a whisper from the edge of our solar system, hinting at possibilities we had only dreamed of. The world held its breath, united in anticipation and hope. We were no longer just shouting into the darkness, we were on the verge of hearing a reply, a response from the cosmos. The headlines framed this as a turning point in human history, a moment that would be remembered for generations. They prepared us for a new chapter, one that would be written not on Earth, but in the silent expanse between the stars, where our imaginations could soar. The journey of Voyager 1 had suddenly become everyone's journey, a shared adventure into the unknown. To understand this moment, we have to look beyond ourselves to a time when humanity dared to dream bigger than ever before. We must travel back to 1977, a year when the world was captivated by the promise of the stars. That year, NASA launched Voyager 1 and 2, a grand tour of the outer planets, a mission that would push the boundaries of exploration and human ingenuity. These probes were more than machines, they carried the golden record, a message in a cosmic bottle, meant to drift through the vastness of space for eons. The 12-inch gold-plated disc contained greetings in 55 languages, each one a small voice from Earth reaching out into the unknown. It held music from Bach to Chuck Berry, capturing the rhythms and melodies that have shaped our cultures and our hearts. And the sounds of Earth, thunderstorms, laughter, a baby's cry, the heartbeat of our planet preserved for distant listeners. 115 images showed our science, our discoveries, and the way we try to understand the universe. Art, families, moments of joy and connection, snapshots of what it means to be human, sent across the stars. Carl Sagan and his team knew the odds of it being found were tiny, almost impossibly small, but that didn't stop them from trying. The record wasn't just for aliens, it was for us, a statement of who we are and what we aspire to be, a mirror reflecting our hopes and dreams, it was a gesture of hope, a testament to our curiosity, and a symbol of our longing to connect with something greater than ourselves. As Voyager 1 sped away, it became an emissary, carrying our story into the unknown, venturing farther than any human-made object before it. For decades it traveled in silence, a lonely pilgrim on an endless journey, surrounded by the cold beauty of the cosmos. We never truly expected an answer but we sent our message anyway, driven by wonder and the possibility of connection. The golden record was a hopeful whisper launched into the void, a fragile thread tying us to the infinite. But the universe it seems is full of surprises, reminding us that even the smallest gesture can echo across eternity. Before it became a silent wanderer, Voyager 1 was a planetary rock star. Its mission explored Jupiter and Saturn. In 1979 it reached Jupiter, sending back revolutionary images, swirling storms, the Great Red Spot, and volcanic eruptions on Io. It discovered faint rings and revealed that even distant moons could be geologically alive. Then, Voyager 1 used Jupiter's gravity to slingshot toward Saturn. In 1980 it sent back breathtaking images of Saturn's rings and its enigmatic moon, Titan. Each discovery rewrote our textbooks and changed our view of the solar system. Having completed its planetary mission, Voyager 1 was flung toward the stars. Its work as a planetary explorer was done. Its new, unintended mission as an interstellar scout was just beginning. After Saturn, Voyager 1 journeyed into uncharted space. Its destination, the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends. In August 2012 after 35 years, Voyager 1 crossed into interstellar space. NASA confirmed it by analyzing a drop in solar particles and a surge in galactic cosmic rays. 
Voyager 1 became our first direct sensor in the interstellar medium, measuring the temperature, density and magnetic field between stars. We learned the interstellar plasma was denser and the galactic magnetic field stronger than expected. The probe's continued operation is a testament to its design and the ingenuity of its creators. Its faint whisper takes nearly a day to reach us even at light speed. Its journey across the heliopause marked a fundamental step in our evolution. We had, in a very real sense, reached the stars. And from this new territory, the next chapter began. Fast forward to August 27, 2025. For years Voyager 1's data was faint but predictable, until something changed. The deep space network began picking up anomalies, the signal was garbled, a jumble of static. NASA suspected the aging probe was failing, engineers worked around the clock but nothing fixed the problem. The world watched, expecting the end. Then a young data scientist noticed a pattern buried in the noise, a complex repeating sequence. It wasn't random static, it was information in a format never seen before. The garbled signal was a message, containing instructions change, Voyager 1's transmission frequency. No one on Earth had sent these instructions. The implications were staggering. After intense debate the team decided to follow the instructions. It was a risk, if it was a malfunction, it could silence the probe forever. But ignoring a potential first contact was unthinkable. With the world holding its breath they sent the command. The engineers reconfigured the deep space network to the new frequency, for hours there was silence. Then, a signal, crystal clear and powerful. Voyager 1 was now a relay picking up a signal from the Oort cloud, the icy frontier of our solar system. The signal was structured, filled with mathematical patterns, prime numbers, pi, geometric concepts. It was, without a doubt, artificial. Someone was out there saying hello. The transmission was a symphony of information star maps, atomic diagrams and a biological blueprint, utterly alien. It was a library, a greeting card and a scientific treatise all in one. The builders of the Golden Record had received a reply far more detailed than they could have dreamed. We were no longer alone. The universe was a place of mind, of intelligence. And this intelligence was in our own celestial neighborhood. A new voice had joined the cosmic chorus. The revelation of an intelligent signal from the Oort cloud had a profound impact. Instead of panic, it fostered unity. Borders and politics seemed small. We were all humans, sharing a cosmic neighborhood. International cooperation flourished, space agencies pooled resources, scientists shared data. The best minds on the planet worked together to understand the message and plan a reply. This was a space collaboration, not a race. Funding for science and education soared. A new generation was inspired by the Voyager signal. The arts flourished, exploring the philosophical questions raised by the discovery. The signal became a mirror, inspiring us to be more cooperative, curious and hopeful. A single whisper from the edge of our solar system had quieted the shouting on Earth. In the wake of the signal, the world turned to its leading thinkers for perspective, seeking guidance from those whose lives were dedicated to understanding the unknown. Across continents and cultures, scientists, philosophers and visionaries gathered to share their insights, their faces reflecting both awe and responsibility. Dr. Evelyn Reed, head of the SETI Institute, addressed the world with measured excitement. For decades we listened, today that faith is rewarded. This is the beginning of a conversation, not just with another intelligence, but with ourselves as a species. Philosophers urged us to think deeply about what it means to be human, to reflect on our shared values, and to consider what message we want to send back. They reminded us that this moment was as much about self-discovery as it was about discovery beyond Earth. It must be our art, our compassion, our capacity for love, and our acknowledgement of our own flaws," wrote Professor Kenji Tanaka, emphasizing that our response should reflect the full spectrum of our humanity, not just our achievements. Commander Eva Rostova, astronaut, added, From orbit you see one planet. This signal reminds us we are one crew on spaceship Earth, sharing a fragile home in the vastness of the cosmos. Our differences seem small compared to what unites us. These voices guided the public response, emphasizing unity and curiosity over fear. They called for open minds and open hearts, urging people everywhere to embrace the unknown with hope rather than anxiety. The consensus quickly formed. This was the most important event in human history, a turning point that would shape generations to come. It was a challenge, an opportunity, and a gift, an invitation to grow beyond our limitations and imagine new possibilities for our future. The voices of reason and wonder combined to create a powerful narrative of hope, 
blending scientific rigor with boundless imagination. Together they inspired a sense of purpose and possibility. We were urged to rise to the occasion and meet this new reality with the best of our humanity, collaborating, learning, and dreaming together as one global community. The journey of Voyager 1, once a solitary quest into the unknown, had become a lesson for us all, a symbol of our collective curiosity and courage. The universe had spoken and for the first time we were truly ready to listen, united in our desire to understand and connect. Our story was no longer just our own, it had become part of something far greater, a new chapter in the unfolding narrative of the cosmos. The story of Voyager 1 is the story of humanity, boundless curiosity, daring engineering, and a relentless desire to explore. Now it is a bridge for a conversation that will define our future. The discovery of the Oort cloud signal is not an ending but a breathtaking beginning. This moment calls on all of us to look up and remember the grand cosmic stage, support the dreamers, the scientists, the teachers, advocate for exploration and discovery. The universe has invited us to a galactic conversation. When we work together, driven by curiosity, we can achieve the unthinkable. We sent a message in a bottle, and the ocean answered. Now, the real work begins. We must learn, explore, and grow into a species worthy of this cosmic company. The journey of Voyager 1 is not over, and neither is ours. It has just begun.